Hi, my name is Jason Dolphin, and I'm the IT Director for the .active Group. In this video, we will be showing you how to get started with .active Catman Lite. Once you have downloaded and registered your application, you will see the home screen of Catman Lite. You will see multiple tabs across the top being Data, Reporting, Ranging, Space Planning and Help. In each of these tabs, you will see that certain buttons are not available. This is either because you do not have an applicable file open, for example a planogram, or because you do not have an enterprise license. Catman Lite only has shelf space planning and basic reporting capabilities. Let's get started. First, go to the Data tab, then click on Save in the Template panel. You will now have the option to select where to save your Excel data template, as well as whether to save a full or products only template. Once you click OK, your template will automatically open up in Excel. For this example, we're going to use a pre-populated file. In Catman Lite, click on the Use button in the Template panel, select your populated Excel sheet and click Open. Your data will now be transferred to Catman Lite. You can now drill into your data on the right-hand Project Dimensions bar. From here, you can either create a new planogram with this data, or you can add this data to an existing planogram. First, I will show you how to create a new planogram with the data. To start, click on the New Planner with Data button in the Data tab. You will now see an empty planogram along with a green shelf containing all of your products from your Excel sheet. You will also see that a Space Tools context category has been added, with two tabs being Shelf Plan and Floor Plan. The Shelf Plan tab will contain all of the tools needed to complete your planogram. Let's close this and show you how to add data to an existing planogram. For this, we'll use the sample planogram provided. Click on File in the top left and open the sample planogram from your recent file list. Now that the planogram is open, you will see as you move your mouse over the products of this planogram, that information at the bottom left is blank because there is no data in this planogram. Now we will be going back to the Data tab and clicking on the Select button in the Data Transfer panel. Then select Excel to Shelf Plan. This screen will allow you to select which planogram should be updated with the data if you have multiple planograms open, as well as selecting which fields you would like to update. By default, all fields are selected. You can click OK. Any new products are again added to the green shelf above your planogram. You will also see now as you move your mouse over the products that there is information at the bottom left. Happy space planning and thanks for watching.